Good morning, it's Brian Rupnow here. I have solved all of the issues related to my reversing valve on this engine and on one of the forums someone asked me if I could make a short video of it with those changes made and with the leaks fixed. So what you're seeing right there now, the handrail is in the neutral position and no air is flowing and no air is escaping anywhere. So we're going to uh, bring the handle over to this side and you can see that the engine is running in one direction and you do, you do hear some air escaping there but it's the exhaust air from the cylinder. There has to be an exhaust when you have air going in you have to have exhaust coming out we're going to stop it now and move it in the other direction. When I bring this handle vertically, it deadheads the air in there so the flywheel don't keep on turning. It stops pretty quick because the air ahead of the pistons has nowhere to go when I've got this valve sitting in the no movement position. And when I go to the far side, then we have it running in the opposite direction. So. This, this reversing valve, it does work remarkably well. Raymond in the UK was the first person to give me a look at one of his valves that he had disassembled so I could see how the design came together. And Jason in the UK showed me a method he had elected to prevent any air leaks, which involved putting a spring on the outboard side here to compress the rotary valve against the fixed portion of the valve so no air would escape. So I'm going to stop it again and we'll turn it a little bit. You're not going to see very much here but there's a very heavy little spring and a hex nut and I've made this nice little brass nose cone to fit over and hide everything in there but it works good, it doesn't leak air and it, it runs at a very sedate pace. So I'm very happy with this. This does everything I had ever hoped a reversing engine would do. And that's all that I wanted you to see. So thanks very much for looking.